Um, hello, students. Good evening. Are you ready? Hello, hello. Please, um, before we well, we'll start, remember to turn on the cameras and also get ready to participate actively here in the class. It's important your participation. And also, don't forget to turn on the cameras. No se les olvide eh, tener eh, las cámaras encendidas, que es un requerimiento de Insafor. Entonces, sí es importante pues, que podamos seguir la indicación eh, que tenemos actualmente en this class. Así que, pues, gracias ahí. Ya tenemos a Esmeralda, que tiene su cámara encendida. Hi, Esmeralda. Thank you. Hi. Hello. No sé si va también... No sé si, Mr. Fuerte, creo que necesito que escriba su nombre completo en, eh, acá en su pantalla, que nos aparece que no, no lo tiene completo. También gracias a Claudia, también que tiene su cámara encendida. Muy bien, Claudia. Thank you. Uh, no sé si falta por ahí Margarita, Noé. Cámaras, eh, es importante pues, que podamos seguir la... La indicación, la indicación de parte de Instaport es corporativo. Entonces, pues, eso, eso es en este momento. Así que, pues, vamos a dar inicio. So, we start right now. Okay. Well, good, good evening to everybody. So, it's a pleasure to go back to our English classes after the weekend off. So, we had a good chance to, you know, stay home. You know, some of you didn't work on weekends, some of you were out of school, so you had the opportunity to rest. And now we go back to our English classes with the main purpose to participate and practice English because this is something that we need. One of the best goals we have is to improve, to learn, to maximize skills and do, and do our best with that one, right? So let's start right now with our class and also we will share today the activity look at this one the topic we are going to talk about quantifiers okay this is the topic for this class se acuerdan de los quantifiers me dicen yes or not se recuerdan do you remember about the quantifiers yes yes nice maida Okay, this is actually a pretty easy topic. Talking about the quantifiers, a very, very common topic. And we will discuss in, in this class about it. So, but before, in the last class, we were studying about one topic. Uh, the present continuous. ¿Se recuerdan del present continuous? you remember this topic? Yes, I remember. So before that we start with the quantifiers, I wanted, I wanted to make sure that all of us, we understand this topic. So for that reason, I get back uh, one of the exercises with the goal that you can complete it using the present continuous. It's like a review before we continue with the rest of the exercises we have for this class today. So I want you to think about the verb and try to complete this statement using the appropriate structure for the pressing continues. So let's think about it.
Okay, let's um, let's work with this exercise. I know that you will help me to complete it. Okay, let's see the first one. It says, I, um, how the first sentence goes. Help me to complete this. I am going to watch a movie at Inbox. I am. I'm going to. So the, the, the exercise would be like this. It's okay? Yes. Yes, thank you. Yeah. I am going to watch the movie at Inbox. Okay. Number two, it says play. You are, we are playing in the nearby park. In the nearby park. ¿Y en contracción cómo sería? We are playing. Yes, we are playing. Yes, good, good, good. So we can circle it and we can say that we are playing. Okay, number three, help me with the next one. The boys are swimming in the pool. With one M or double M? Double M. Double M. Excellent. We're swimming in the pond. Rita. Teacher. Yes. Excuse Rita me. is thinking. Is, I'm sorry? What is a pond? A pond, is, a pond is like a, a kind of, um, as we say in Spanish, como, un, como una fuente. That is a pond. It's, it's a, un estanque. A pond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a small body of still water formed naturally or by hollowing or embarking. So that is like a pond. Una fuente es un estanque. So you can see in the parks there are some ponds. And number four, Rita. Rita is singing, singing at the future. It's, it's singing um, like this. It's singing. Yes, I think that's good. All right. It's singing at the function. Number five. The child is playing by baseball. The child are. The child, the child is playing. The child is playing because it's singular. The child is playing. So that's correct. So we circle it. Good. And the number six, the chef. The chef is cooking. Cooking. His famous ravioli. Ravioli. That's good. So the structures will be is cooking. That's correct. As you can see here, that's that's correct. And what about the number seven? The teacher. The teacher is teaching. Teaching. Is teaching the students. Yes. Is teaching the students. Number eight. I am reading Aladdin in the Magic Land. I am, I am reading Aladdin. Let's see. I'm reading Aladdin in the Magic Land. So like this. Good job. And let's see with the number nine. The man is writing. Uh, is writing? Yes. Man is singular or plural? Is singular. Okay, gracias. And is 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 uh is writing a royal Enfield. And the last one, the last but not the least. What is that? Chima is practicing for the third dance performance. Is uh, practicing. Practicing. In Spanish, Chema or Chima? I think it's a, an Asian name. 
puede ser un nombre asiático, quizás no es un nombre like a Latin name, so that is not familiar. Okay. Um, <laughs> vemos ahí que está practiced y está con una S. ¿Se han fijado? Sí. Es porque practice es un poco más británico. Entonces usted va a encontrar que de repente está practiced or practice with S or with C. So in, in British English and other varieties, the spelling practice is as a verb of the spelling practice. It's used as a noun, right? So British people use like practice with S in America is like with C. So she was practicing for her dance performance. That's the word. Okay, I think it's um, very easy for you to work with these exercises. Congratulations, it was a short backup for you to work on that. Muy bien, hemos respondido muy bien este ejercicio. No nos queda duda, pues que lo hemos hecho bien. Así que pasamos al siguiente tema. And we have typical families. We're talking in the last class about families. So remember that this is the, the, the last week you know, of this level, uh, thinking about the next one, and also all the personal projections you have with English. Look at this one, typical families. We have the facts about the United States. 41% of homes have three or more televisions. And do you have more than one television at home? Yes, I am. Okay, yeah. most of you. A very curious question. Do any of you don't have a television at home? I don't need a television in casa. I mean, it, I mean, if someone doesn't have a television at home, si no tiene, alguien de los que está acá no tiene un televisor en casa. Me. Okay. I don't have television. And you don't need a television. No, never. Wow, interesting, right? Some people love TV. <laughs> I don't have time. <laughs> okay, that makes um, sense. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, what? She doesn't like the TV? Oh, wow. So it's because she's very busy. Uh, I, I, so watch, I watch videos or or internet, movies and internet. It's more interesting. Mm, okay. Interesting. Yeah, because I think Francisco and Harrison were thinking about the World Cup, the soccer World Cup, and not having a TV at home is like, what? No, watching the soccer games. Oh, hey, no, I don't, um, I don't imagine this. <laughs> Neither <laughs> do I, so I, I, I won't, I won't be. Okay. And it says um, like 63% of families almost always eat dinner together. So like the typical family. So that's mean that most of the people in the family, they eat dinner together. So they go to the table, they eat and they speak. In El Salvador, sometimes changes. Somebody's eating um, in the kitchen, someone else is eating in the living room. Hay personas que comen en, en la sala, por ejemplo, o comen en el patio, entonces no comen todos en un solo lugar, o comen horas diferentes. So there are some families that they eat together as a tradition. Or they eat at the same time, of course. Um, they eat at the same time. And that is a very valuable details. And Carla says that uh, her television has 32 years, wow. It's a, uh, well, historical television. It's nice. And- Color or is black, black, black and white? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's color. <laughs> ah, color TV, yeah. Wow, yeah. okay. It's nice, it's nice. All right, it's a, uh, yeah. The next one, and 55% of mothers with young children, young children work. So mothers work, um, most of the mothers work. Okay, 78% of high school students have jobs. Mm, well, this is something that needs to be evaluated. 74% of adults between the ages of 
18 and 35 married. Mm, in El Salvador, I don't know about this statistic. Uh, 75, 74 percent of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 years, they get married. Mm -hmm. it's, um, I don't know, we have to compare with El Salvador. 27% um, of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents. This is another um, factor about typical families. Okay, now what I want you to do is to socialize the following points. Facts about our country, facts about El Salvador. Um, what percent of homes have three or more televisions? We had to analyze Tell mm, me, what percent do you think that homes have three or, four or more televisions? We can guess because we don't know specifically this percentage, but we can like guess. Podem, podemos suponer, no sabemos porque tenemos que hacer un estudio, pero ustedes van diciéndome qué porcentaje creen que podrían tener tres o más televisores hoy en día en El Salvador. I think some turn 35%. 35% of families. Okay, someone else? I, I think that 50, 75%. Between 50 and 75% have more than three televisions at home. Yes, yes. Okay, the last one, someone else? Maybe percent. What? I'm sorry. Uh, sería un 15 uh, Fifteen percent of families um, have more than three televisions. Yes. Okay. That could be very valuable to to analyze this one. The next one. A percent of families almost always eat dinner together in El Salvador? Um, 10% I think. Wow, too low. Um, 30% maybe. 30%, okay. Um, que comen juntos la cena. What person is like 30? Maybe 50. 50 15. 15 person. Ah, 15 percent. Yes. Wow. O sea que no, ya hoy en el sabor ya no, se, ya no comen juntos la cena. No. It's not so common because of families, right? Uh, for example. For a, for a schedule of mm -hmm. a member family. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see something. For example, Noé Alberto. Uh, do you eat? with your family at the same time with you do you eat your dinner at the same time with your family we never acostumbramos we're not used to eating nunca never we, we never eat together okay you can see the example ahí podemos ver uno de los ejemplos en el porcentaje Ok, 15%, ahí está el compañero, el 15% de que no comen junto con su familia. Ok, that makes sense. And, all right, look at this. Um, percent of mothers with young children work. ¿Qué porcentaje de madres con hijos jóvenes trabajan? Es decir, pues que madres pues, trabajan en El Salvador. ¿Qué porcentaje? I think it's the all, it's the total, um, a, a 75 percent. 75 percent. I don't know exactly, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, an estimate, an, an estimate, of course. Okay, ¿qué más? Who else can give me more ideas about it? 60. Mothers. 60. 
60. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone else? Mothers with young children. Mm -hmm. Madres jóvenes con hijos jóvenes o adolescentes. Uh, madres con, o sea, madres con young children, que son niños, es decir, mm. ya entre niñez y adolescencia, eh, trabajan. Mm. Es que quizá, uh, I speak in Spanish. I need to speak in Spanish. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because my vocabulary is very small. <laughs> I can. Uh, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, ok. Es que aquí en El Salvador lo que sucede es que eh, a partir de los 30 años ya cuesta conseguir empleo en estos países de Latinoamérica. En especial estoy hablando aquí en El Salvador. Entonces, a veces la mamá a dejar de trabajar porque ya tiene más de, más de 30, más de 40 y se queda trabajando el hijo adolescente y lo que sucede es de que bueno dejan de estudiar por llevar el sustento a la casa mm. ya yeah. yes the, the economy right the, the economy. I yes. Think yes nearly all mothers salvadorians work uh, or have a job informal. Informal jobs. Sí. Pero yeah. siempre trabajo. Yes, Noé, that's right. So most of the most of the mothers work because of the economical situation. So we could say that. Yeah, I agree. So, so most mother had to work to have an stable economy. As we can say, una, una economía estable. Eh, stable economy so they had to work because nowadays everything is more expensive yeah so i agree with that the next one a percent of high school students have jobs what do you think high school students significa estudiantes de bachillerato que trabajan um 10 percent 10 percent yes mm -hmm. yeah the schedule is all day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, someone else? 40%. 40. 30%. 40. 40. 40% 40. 40. 40 of, of students work. Sí. And study yes. at the same time. Yes, yes. Hmm. Okay. The next one, a percent of adults between the ages of 18 and 35 married. Se casan entre los 18 y 35 años. What do you think? What percent? Hoy nadie se quiere casar. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> okay. With the love? Or love or. <laughs> Nobody wants to. I don't know about it. Like, no. no, you don't want to get married. Okay. No. Uh, Maria Patricia, are you married? Mm, it's complicated. Oh my yes. God. It's complicated. <laughs> okay. um, yes, I'm married. Okay, that's good. It's because some people in social networks is like a uh, status. Uh, o sea, piden estado. Es complicado. We will say that. No pone, yes, I have a actually, I actually, it's complicated. <laughs> okay, I understand. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so what percent? What percent do you think adults between ages of 18 um, and like? Maybe 30%. 10%? Mm, yes. Wow, it's very low. Very, um, very people prefer a student in work. Study and work. They prefer study and work and, and have a a puppy, a kitty. Have kids, okay. Okay, so it's, it's a personal goal. Let me ask someone else that I could ask about it. 
Mm, let me see. No. Uh, it's more. It's more percent. It's small percent. Like ten percent is, is very low. It's very, like very low. Uh, uh, let me see. I need to speak in Spanish. <laughs> okay, get there in Guatemala. Are you married? No. Would you like to get married? No. No, it's not in your name. Okay, you can see. 10%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's in the list. She's in the 10% and you know, she doesn't want to get married. Okay, that, that happens, right? And you? I'm sorry? And you? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on the list too. I'm on the list too, 10%. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see here. Um, so we could say that 10%. They get married at the age of 18 or 35. I know some people that they get married after the 35 years. I don't know, like a small percent, but we respect that. The next one, a percent of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents. ¿Qué porcentaje vivirán de adultos que están entre los 18 a 34 años todavía viven con sus papás? Oh man, it's the ninety percent the people in El Salvador. O sea, todos. El Salvador is very people. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. It's complicated. <laughs> uh, what percent? I'm sorry. Okay. Another another opinion. I what think it's not ninety. Ninety percent of the job live with their parents. Eighty percent. Eighty percent. Ninety. Someone else. 90%. 90%. Okay. Estamos de, ¿Están de acuerdo en la mayoría en esto? Eh, Claudia. Sí. What percent, Claudia? El 90. 90%. Okay. So, in El Salvador, everything is special, right? So, they, they, they live, viven con sus papás, pero no comen juntos. <laughs> the dinner. So, look at that. Interesting, right? Okay, so what I want you to do is to socialize the following equations. Which facts seems like positive things? Which seems negative? Es decir, eh, ¿cuáles factores parecen ser como positivos, por ejemplo, eh, y cuáles son negativos? What are families like in your country? En este caso, pues, que el 41% de casas tengan tres o más televisores, ¿es positivo o es negativo? Es negativo. Negativo. Negativo, right? Entonces usted discute mm -hmm. con su grupo, esto, I think it's negative because, you know, people watch TV, they don't study, or they don't dedicate time for some other activities that are more important, like music, education, etc. Eh, 63% of families almost always eat together. Yes, it's good because families, they socialize, they have a good time together, so that's good. Oh, mothers with young children's work. Yes, it's okay because the economy is not helping. Oh, 78% of high school students have jobs. ¿Qué opinan de esto? Que el 78% de estudiantes de bachillerato tengan trabajos. ¿Es bueno o es malo? It's positive. It's positive. 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 But if they work, they can miss classes or they don't concentrate in school. Por trabajar no se concentren en los estudios. Mm. Negative. Uh, could be negative, could be positive. So you analyze this one, um, etc. What are families like in your country? Write your guesses. Pues usted socializa. Tell the class your guesses. Do they agree? Entonces usted va a, le va a contar ahí eso es como sus compañeros, pues, ¿qué opinan de eso? De cada uno de estos puntos, si es positivo, si es negativo, si sea en El Salvador o no. Así que yo les voy a dar unos minutitos para que usted escriba sus respuestas y socialice estos puntos. Mientras tanto, pues, vamos a pasar la asistencia mientras usted piensa en sus respuestas. Eh, ¿Cuáles son positivos de los que están ahí? The television, the families, people who get married young, los que se, los que se casan jóvenes, los que ven con sus padres, positivo o negativo, you analyze this point. 
Ok, mientras tanto vamos a pasar la asistencia, entonces me permiten un momentito. Just, uh, just give me some time, please. Okay, so um, you will listen your name and you say present, please. Remember that we always um, take the control about the attendance. So, in part as part of the requirements to be here in this course. Eh, Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. No, here. Check. Next. Agustín Alexander Santa María. ¿Se encuentra Agustín? ¿Dónde está? Andrea Esmeralda Álvarez. Present. Eh, Araceli Esmeralda Ventura Vázquez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Eh, Carmen Andrea Santos Martínez. Carmen Andrea Santos. Eh, Claudia Jocelyn Rivas. Present. Denis Alonso Marinero Gutiérrez. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte Flores. Present. Eh, Francisco Javier Orellana. Freddy José Álvarez Escobar. No está Freddy Gabriela Guadalupe Zamor, España Gabriela María Peñalón eh, Gerson Vinicio Moreno Funes Present Eh, Glendy Elisette Flores Ramírez. Here. Eh, Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas Alberto. Present. Carla Liliana Portillo Constante. Carla Tatiana Villanueva Serrano. Presente. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Present. Eh, Luis Ariana Guerra Cáceres. Margarita Elizabeth Panameño Guzmán. Present. Uh, micrófono. micrófono. Thanks. Thank you. Um, 
Mayra Patricia Pérez. Present. Nerlin Jaciel Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Noé Alberto Calzadilla Herrera. Presente. Wendy Patricia Chavarría Ayala. Wendy Patricia. Ok. We're complete. Mm -hmm. We cannot minimize this one. Let's see. Switch. Practice to minify your family. Okay. Okay, let's um, continue with this exercise. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me check. All right, so we're talking about that. In, okay, 41% of homes have three or more televisions. Is positive or negative? It's negative. In El Salvador, negative. In El Salvador is negative? Yes. Yes. Why is negative? Tell me. Why do you think it's negative? Mm. Um, how do you say? No se comparte tiempo, family. Eh, families don't share. Eh, Luisa, creo que tiene distorsión en su micrófono. Ajá, creo que tiene como interferencia. And families don't share together. Oh, they don't share time together? Yes. Mm, okay. That's one of the problems. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? And the energy consume uh, is a lot of more energy for one TV or for three TV. Okay. That's good. All right. And what about 63% uh, of families almost always eat dinner together? Is positive or negative? It's positive. Okay. I think so. It's, it's positive, right? It's good. What is the advantage? ¿Cuál es la ventaja? Mm. Of it's time for talking. It's time for about talking. The day. Okay. Depends. Yes, a good practice. Too. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's right. What about mothers with young children work? Is positive or negative? Positive. It's positive. A high school students have jobs, positive or negative? It's positive. Positive. Not negative. No negative. Okay, good. So students have money. It is my most more responsible responsibility for John. Okay, it's uh, more responsibility. Okay, it's more responsibility for John students. Okay, uh, seventy four percent of adults between the ages of eighteen and thirty five married. Positive or negative? Negative. <laughs> <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Why negative? Why negative? Because the person don't desarrollar. De de develop. The, they develop. Yes. But yes. they are not free. Ya no son libres. They are not depend free. Depend because uh, the no, men. No, no. Liberty. Francisco is positive. Francisco is positive. Uh, I think it's the, the pen uh, because uh, one man marry at the 38 is good, is positive. Yes, yes. 38 yes. is positive. Okay. Yes, the, the, the 18 negative. Both. 18 is very young. Yeah, yes, that's right. Yes. Very young. Needs, needs to learn about life. Okay, yes, it's a one thing, un poquito. They, they, they can. Wait a little bit more. <laughs> Pero aquí en El Salvador es raro. Las parejas que se casan la, may la mayoría solamente se acompañan. They get together, but they don't get married formally. 
Okay, they, they, they yes. Don't, they yes, don't. because legal, legal is the, the same. No, it's the same. Marry or no. only. Yeah. No, it's the same because the men, uh, uh, when they marry for second occasion, no, no, this is illegal. <laughs> illegal. The... Legal. Okay. Ah. Okay. So it's um okay. They are they are together by law, right? Por la ley, okay. And some others they don't. Yes. They are free. Digamos que son son libres. They are free, but they are engaged, but they are not married. Es decir, son como comprometidos, engaged, but they are not married. Okay. But having children. And they have children. Okay, they have children. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, is twenty percent of adults between the ages of eighteen and thirty-four live with their parents, positive or negative? Negative. <laughs> Depends. Depends. <laughs> Okay, why? Give me a reason, guys. Give me a reason if that is positive or negative. I think it's negative because uh, the people, uh, the 18 or more years, uh, he come to prop property house, work, uh, independence. They are independent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's negative for our parents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, are, yes, uh, they, are, yeah. they are like a ver cuando yeah for parents is negative <laughs> okay así como que y cuando se va a ir right and they are gonna go they are on a charger for the parents yeah yes. makes sense y cuando se van they andan triste los papás mm. <laughs> also <laughs> I don't know about it it's, it's a, yeah but you say that most, uh, like 80 and 90 percent of young adults, they stay with parents. But anyway, yeah, so ups and downs. Okay, thank you guys. We will have a short time to discuss the following equations about family. So you can see here and also look at the equations. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Uh, Noe, can you help me to read the equations, please? Leer la pregunta. Yes, yes. How, how many people are in your family? How many brothers and sisters do you have? What are their names? Are you an only child? What are your parents' names? Do you get along with your... ¿Qué significa eso? Siblings. Siblings. It's like brothers and sisters. The siblings is like we say hermanos y hermanas. Uh, seven, do you get along with your parents? A, say something interesting about your family. Okay, do you have questions? Huh? ¿Tiene preguntas sobre el vocabulario? Solo sim siblings es la que usted dijo. Ok, hermanos. Eh, cuando es hermanos y hermanas, siblings. Eh, do you understand the context about the equation seven? No, in Spanish. In Spanish would be like, eh, ¿te llevas bien con tus padres? En mm, number six. Um, que si te llevas bien con tus hermanos. Ah, oh, ok. Gracias. And say something interesting about your family. Eh, la número ocho es como que ustedes pueden hablar un poquito más de su familia. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, ah, bueno, pues voy a hablar acerca de mi familia. Mm, puede que sea su familia primaria o su familia ya con su esposa o esposo con hijos. Ah. Usted puede decir algo importante de ellos. Pues my family, is, we have a good time together. We try to go out. We try to enjoy the good places. We go to church. So something interesting that you would like to share about your family. That is the, the point about this part. So for that reason. And the, okay. numbers, yeah. the number four. Are you an only child? Eres hijo único. Are you an only child? Yes. Uh, yes, child. Yes. Child. Exactly.
Okay, so in this moment, we will have some minutes to answer these questions, okay? So the purpose is that you can practice your English and also share your answers. Okay, así que vamos a, vamos a formar los grupos. We will work at the teams. Y ahí vamos a formar los, los participantes. We are, let me see. Mm, okay, we can take these numbers here. Okay, let me check. Okay, let's click in here. So we're gonna work in groups. Vamos a, vamos a trabajar en equipos. Y usted va a socializar estas preguntas con sus compañeros, right? Así de una manera breve para que podamos practicar todos. Let's go. Sí, ya pasó, lista. Eh, si sí, tienen problemas quizás con el audio. Family is three. Three. And your family only three people. Yes. Uh, okay, okay. And my family, uh, I, uh, we are uh, five people. Because I, I live alone right now. Okay. Okay, Harrison, next question. Number two. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I, I asked the question number two. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Francisco. Okay, I have two, two brothers uh, and one sister. Okay. Merlin? I have, I have uh, four brother, uh, one sister. Okay, okay. Me, I have one brother, one brother and one sister. Okay. Only yes. Okay, uh, Merlin, uh, you do the next question, please. What character names? Ah, okay. okay. Person. What are, what are their names? Uh, the name of, of my brother is Pedro, and the name of my sister is Claudia. Okay. In my case, in my brother is, uh, is Mauricio and Jorge, and my sister is Denise Milagro. Okay, my brother, he is Harrison Edras Nilsson. My sister, he is uh, Emily. Edras Nilsson, okay. Are curious, yeah. that's name. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no common. No common, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, number five. Number, number five. Number four. four. Okay, I, 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 I go. Number four, I think that I, yeah, uh, I ask, ask you, ask you because yeah, we are, we are how, how sister. Okay, yes. Uh, uh, and brother, yes. See, uh, the, the answer is negative. Okay. 
Number okay, five. Number, number five. Uh, Merlin, what are your father's name? Number of my father, right? Yes. Okay. And my father is Rosalie. My mother, Irma. Your father, Rosalie? Rosalie, my mother, Irma. Irma. They yes. Are, they, are, they are alive? Can we both have Yes, yes. Okay, good. Okay. Person? Okay, my, my father, his name is Peter, and my mother, she's dead by... Her name was Mary. Mary. Oh, okay. In my case, my my mother's name is Anna Hilda, and my father's name was uh, Richard. He died. He died too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Number six. Number six. Please. Do you get along with your siblings? Oh, in my case, uh, yes, because yes, but uh, they are they are, they are like uh, como se dice lejos uh, far uh, far uh, they are like far and, and, uh, and I don't have good communication because they are like far. For the distance, yeah. Merlin, uh, you? La pregunta? do you get along with your siblings? Number six. Mm, quiero ver, quiero ver si no muy bien. Si tú te muy bien con tus ah, yes, yes. Mm, sí. Bueno, no sé. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Uh, in my case, yes. I. General. I, yes. General. Is is. General. Yes, I have a a good relation with them. We live near. We we see every every weekends sometimes. Uh, yes, is is a good relation. Okay, and with your parents? Number seven. Yes, I I have a good relation with my parents. Well, with my father, so yes. We near, we near all my family we near. Okay. Merlin, uh... Merlin. Yeah, as for me, yes, very good. My parents. Okay, in my case, with my mother, I, I have a good relation. Oh, well, good. Yeah. Okay, uh, number eight. Uh, say something interesting about your family, Nerly. You want? Uh, say something say interesting something. about your family. Uh, interesting family. My family is uh, religious. Very religious. 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 Yes. Religious. Okay. Um, is all. Porque no sé inglés, no sé qué explicarles. Además, sobre todo. Oh, okay, Harrison. Um, yes, my family is interesting. About uh, we are very, very united. And always we we are in communication, and always uh, we are support between between us. Uh, 
that's that's all. And okay. Uh, in my case, my family is uh, very, very small. Uh, only have with my mother and, and, and me. Um, my brother is living afar. He, um, I have two, four children too, two living in California, uh, two living in Argentina. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she study in this country. In the my children living in California, they have a resident residence, American resident. Uh, I live in here alone, but only with my pets. Okay. <laughs> a dog. A dog. Three dogs. Three dogs. Three dogs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, I don't know what to say. Okay. Okay, I finished, no? Yes. It, it's, good, it's good for you. You have a, your, your doctor, daughter, daughter, daughter living in California? Yes. No, my, my children, my, my children living in, in California, my daughter living in Argentina. Oh, okay. Uh, you speak English with with, uh, with I, her? I, I, I yes, because I need more <laughs> learning. Yes, it's a it's a it's a good it's a good. Sounds sounds like a baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, um, we're about to finish the class. Uh, it was a great conversation because you could talk about families and that was definitely good. I mean, most of you talk about some important details about families and that is great uh, to know that. Um, so I'm very, very I'm happy to know a little bit about your families. And at the same time, we practice English. That's something we like. So we will, we will finish today because of the time I really appreciate the effort and the sacrifice. And what I love is the personal commitment you have made in this class. Congratulations for the personal commitment. And I know your English level will be much better than before. I'm pretty sure about it. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful, beautiful night to all of you. Enjoy your night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Thank you.